How NFTs Will Emerge with the Metaverse You've heard of NFTs, right? In 2021, the term NFT has really begun to break into public consciousness, thanks to a lot of noise being made about the fact that artwork, music, video, and really just about anything can be attached to a smart contract on a blockchain and sold as a totally unique piece of art, history, or even politics. But with the announcement of the metaverse, NFTs stand to gain even more of an important place on the internet. So get ready to have your mind blown as we find out how NFTs will emerge with the metaverse. You're with Big Brain Money, so use the gray matter and like and subscribe. It's likely that when you think about NFTs, you will either think about stodgy and pretentious art investors wandering around a virtual gallery paying exorbitant amounts of money for tat that can barely be called art, or a cool new digital space where establishment deconstructing meme tokens being sold around the blockchain space and a new generation of artists and musicians, media professionals, etc. are brought in, who will shape the next few decades of the art scene. Both are kind of correct, but both are also far too basic. The digital art frenzy reflects a very compelling use case, but it's far from the only thing that is currently happening in the world of NFTs, which by the way stands for non-fungible token. As absolutely anything could be an NFT and be sold for millions, even something like, for example, former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's first ever tweet, the road ahead is packed with opportunities for hobbyists, investors, and enterprises that will certainly promote the adoption and usage of NFTs. One of these is certainly going to be NFT-controlled access, especially when it comes to the metaverse. Ever since Meta, formerly Facebook founder and possibly robo-reptilian Mark Zuckerberg first announced the metaverse, it has come to encompass all things that are the processes and protocols powering the internet and what is now called Web3. Web 2.0, as the current iteration of the internet is colloquially known, represents the variety of websites and applications that came about in the last 20 years, allowing anyone to create and share online info and material that they had created. Social media was a colossal part of this change, and it also saw the disappearance of personal websites made using angel fire and the like. Web3 then represents the move into the coalescence of the internet into a central and interoperable space. In this theoretical future dimension, communications, finances, video game worlds, personal profiles, NFTs, and everything else will become part of a much larger collective online experience. And so, a VR internet like the metaverse that is designed to parallel the real world can also be considered an extension of it, unless it turns out to be a terrifying Matrix X dystopia. But let's stay optimistic. An augmented reality interface can easily bridge the gap between everyday life and goings-on on the internet. Everything that Web3 is and could be falls under the banner of the metaverse. So how could you even go about getting access to the metaverse? Well, one way that has been highly considered is through NFTs. The metaverse and the NFTs are inoxorably bound, it seems. One of the biggest reasons for the burst of interest in the NFT space is, of course, blockchain gaming too. For many, the metaverse will manifest through virtual worlds and interoperable games are going to be a blatantly suitable platform for this. When your real-life identity is tied to an NFT digital avatar, it's goodbye to needing a password, though it might also be goodbye to anonymity. This is mostly because of the nature of NFTs as one-of-a-kind blockchain-based tokens that can be used to demonstrate proof of ownership over digital items like art, music, video game assets, and skins or weapons, which Web 2.0 has done a great job of ensuring is virtually anything at all. So why not also access to things? One of the first occurrences of NFT-controlled access was in 2019 at the first NFT NYC conference. The event made it possible for guests to gain entry using an NFT-based ticket, which included a VIP dinner and also a chance to display a custom message on the billboard at Times Square, which is something you almost definitely wouldn't say no to, would you? Of course, this was still a faraway thing from the metaverse, but it was a start, and the potential was recognized. With this precedent set, various games and projects are now using to take advantage of the intersection between NFTs and the metaverse, and they're all suggesting that it will result in new ways to interact online. Decentraland is one example. 
having a limited number of land tokens that denote ownership of virtual real estate within the metaverse. Of course, in a similar fashion, NFTs may come to behave as the deed of a property, as well as acting as the key. This could mean that the owner and the owner alone would be able to enter that location in the metaverse and be able to permit or refuse others. Thanks to the smart contract, proof of ownership is everlasting and infallible. So selling the property and the rights would become vastly quicker as well. Imagine this taken to the nth degree though, as NFT controlled access could allow access to real life events like conventions, festivals, and the like. No more bootleg tickets being sold outside the download festival then, whatever opinion you might have about that. They could also be used to guarantee special access to fan-only content or perhaps even function in the process of airdropping. Interoperability is another term that you're going to hear more and more of, and bringing it beyond just the metaverse and into the IRL space, architects and builders could easily create the kind of infrastructure needed for augmented reality as well as engagement, services, and marketing that are all based on location. MMORPGs or massively multiplayer online role-playing games like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV could be assigned NFTs and benefit from the ridiculously convenient features of the blockchain. It would allow for a more personal experience and permit players to radically customize their own time spent playing. Facebook is a good example, as it should be, of a company preparing for the metaverse, as the company roadmap heavily features metaverse functionality. Products like Portal, that is effectively like a Facebook version of Alexa, are allowing people to access their stories without hands. And the stablecoin Diem was initiated by Facebook and will be designed to work on the platform. Of course, given how much the world of technology is rapidly preparing for a metaverse-centric future, NFT-based augmented reality experiences will likely become one of the pillars that hold up the social media space. Financial services conducted in the metaverse will also see blockchain-based ID systems and NFTs to provide validity to transactions. The possibilities are literally only limited by the human imagination, and the technology has more uses than many can even fathom right now. NFTs could be keys, could be deeds, could be silly art that's for sale, or can be proof of identity. Smart contracts have made it possible for an infallible proof of ownership system to exist, and the metaverse will be ensuring that such technology is a massive staple of its existence, and as much of the world that exists outside the virtual sector as well. To make the most of this potential and help to grow the metaverse, Web3 will need to promote blockchain from established creators and players, and NFTs look like they might just be the way to do that. Leave your comments and suggestions down below then use that gray matter and like this video. Subscribe with Big Brain Money and ring the notification bell. Don't forget, if you like this video, Big Brain Money offers more sustenance to feed that cranium. Click on why Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin and what you should know. The metaverse and cryptocurrency and much, much more.